he knows better than anybody how to move, so they had the doubles matching what he's doing and, and keeping that theme of what he's always had. There we go. <laughs> and so we haven't changed that in any way. You know, he's getting up there in age, I'm, he's still at it. He just still wants to do whatever he can. He's, he's done quite a bit on this. Three, two, one, go! A lot of people ask me always the question, is this, okay, so this is a different Terminator movie, this is a different script, this is a different story, it's a different director, different producers, everything is different. I mean, what was different in the way you had to prep for this movie? And, uh, you know, especially now that you are, you know, 67 years old versus, you know, 35 years old or 40 years old, I mean, there must be a difference. And the, the fact of the matter is that I have really kept in shape all the time. I train every day, I lift weights every day, I do my bicycle riding, my cardiovascular training and all this. And for a movie like that, inevitably you have to gain some weight because this is what the character was, uh, the way it was written, that the flesh, and the look and the, uh, the hair and all this kind of changes over the years, but not the skeleton. The metal skeleton is still the same frame, so you have to have the same size. So I had to have the same body weight again as I did with the original one, which was around 228, 230 pounds. So I got gained that weight back, trained harder, and it lifted more weights, heavier weights and so on. And uh, so we went through that kind of a training and then working with the stunt coordinators and with the stunt people, to do the actual training for the stunts and choreographing of the stunts because there were tremendous, uh, uh, you know, fight scenes. Action. And three, two, one, action! Yeah. For Arnold, it's just like you know, second nature. I think no, no gun was big enough. We had an armorer named Harry Lou. It was a, kind of a genius of weaponry that kind of uh, kept everybody, you know, in check. The important thing. And the Terminator movie is always that you have a long range of kind of weapons, a, a wide variety of different weapons. But we also wanted to bring with us some of the history of the franchise. And we would keep true to the guns that the Guardian has used in the past. And typically, the guns that he likes to use <laughs> are... The shotguns. <laughs> the Guardian's shotguns are separate by the era. So in the 80s, his shotgun is a Remington 1100 and that is proper for the period it's functional and it is slick and I have to say you know with a lot of input from Arnold and that that he loved it and we shot it and we shot a lot of that and without any single malfunction and for the 2017 segment motorcycle we have a M3 Benelli and also an M4 Benelli. And both are also beautiful shotguns. And they're representing the high-tech part of the product. And once again, not a single jam, <laughs> OK? Hold on the gun, please, Harry. Let's roll, camera. Safety is off. 112 Georgie, take one, A and B. The key thing is, is as you shoot, and it makes this bang, this loud noise, then you don't blink, because machines don't blink, right? So therefore, you have to really be trained, and you have to do it over and over again. So it's all through reps that eventually the brain understands that not to flinch when you shoot. So I was able to, to master that after, again, training very hard and practicing a lot. <laughs> 